Hi everyone, welcome back to another journal video. Today we are gonna uh, do another page on this big journal. I have those two uh, pages already done and you will find uh, the link of the video that I did uh, on the top right. Uh, now we're gonna work on this page, but first of all, I want to tell you that uh, uh, Zenat Supply basically sent me this another this journal. It is a B6. It is exactly the same of the other one, and I got because there, in in the package there was a code to have an additional gift. So I give them basically the order number, and they sent me this wonderful small journal. So we're gonna use that one in the future. And for the moment, I have to say that I like those this journal, those pages but I still need to test for watercolor that's what I want to do but let's uh, be back on the project uh, so I'm gonna use uh, a base uh, with uh, some uh, blue acrylic paint so I'm just uh, took all, uh, all the acrylic paint that I had in my stage with uh, with the blue tone and just put it on the side and uh, I'm gonna put everything on the page. I was using a little bit more uh, water uh, on the brush, so it's not really dry, completely dry. And I started to fill in the page. But as you can see, I was starting first in a vertical way, but then I thought, no, I think it's better that I will add lines on the uh, side to side, so horizontal way, and you will discover in a bit. And I don't mind to have a brush stroke. I really uh, going for it. I, I like when there is uh, those kind of detail on the page page uh, or imperfection if you want to call and I'm adding a different tone of uh, blue and I'm using also some white acrylic paint to change let's say the tone of the blue. Uh, what I we are gonna do is to have a marine scene and that's why I wanted to have a bit more dark uh, lines on the bottom and a bit going a bit more light on the top. Keep in mind that I'm not going for a realistic look here, of course. I'm just putting some lines here and there and trying again to have the, the bottom a bit darker and the top a bit lighter. And I'm speeding up really fast this part because it, it takes a lot of time and I don't want to waste your time. So this is just the base of the page, basically. In the end, it went. Uh, it was a bit too bright for my taste, this page, but I like, I mean, it, it's a kind of bright blue that uh, make me happy. And uh, that's why I decided to put some uh, white stroke on the top. I think it make a bit more better. Now we work on the focal point. So I have this one uh, from a uh, um, magazine. So this girl uh, draw, how is, how is telling? Uh, drowning, drowning into the bottom of the sea. And uh, I wanted to use that one as focal point. So we are gonna make her a wonderful summer fairy because we did all the uh, fairy, uh, season fairy on this channel, but I was missing summer. That is my favorite season actually. So uh, I decided to put just uh, some, uh, um, uh, to dress her up basically. And uh, I'm doing directly with acrylic paint on top of the magazine um, cutout. Uh, so I use this wonderful turquoise, turquoise, I don't know how to pronounce, I'm so sorry, <laughs> to have the base of her dress, but we are going to customize them on the page. And then I saw that wonderful collar, so I was having patience to cut pieces and pieces of that one, and with, the, with this one we are going to do uh, the upper part of the dress. Uh, so I'm just putting some uh, uh, matte medium there on, on the part where I, I want to glue every pieces and then apply pieces by pieces. I'm not going to crazy on that one, I'm just applying what I have and time to time I'm just adding on top some uh, matte medium to keep everything stable. And again, just until I am happy with the look. This is gonna be really the, you know, the structure of the upper part of her, of her dress. And that's really easy to find. I mean, in every in every uh, magazine you can find a, um, a Julie's page on a magazine. It's easy to find. I mean, and you can easily replicate that one. And now I'm gonna glue uh, the focal point on the right page of the journal. Uh, so she's gonna stay on that side, and on the left we are, I'm gonna put the quote. That's the idea. So now after I glue everything with the matte medium, I'm starting to uh, create a dress basically. So I'm going with the same uh, acrylic paint color and just adding, uh, you know, the, the dress, uh, the movement of the dress. 
and you know this is a kind of frou I, I'm calling a frou frou dress <laughs> that's what I like I mean you know when the uh, the skirt is really moving with the wind with the in this case the water but that's kind of the dress that I'm going for and I didn't like that part where you can see you know the when when the cut out hand and the rest of the page so I was really heavily there with the acrylic paint so I was really taking a lot of acrylic paint with the brush and leave the stroke there so in this way I think I minimize mi I, it's a bit hidden let's say the, the line of the end of the of the cutout with the rest of the um, of the element and uh, since I was not happy I mean <laughs> I'm always adding the tail I like to have the strokes and then I, add, I start adding also some white because so in this way I can uh, kind of fake the reflection of the uh, light on the dress and uh, I'm gonna adding also some thickness on the other side so because I mean there is some space, some, something there too. Um, I, what I didn't do, it maybe I, I didn't uh, consider the movement of the dress in the water. Maybe something that I could have done, but next time maybe. Now on the other side, I'm just gonna do some uh, uh, some quotes, some calligraphy, some fake calligraphy style. So I just uh, I'm gonna always doing first with a thin marker and then going uh, with, to bold some uh, the side of the of the letters and then having some uh, a word a bit uh, uh, more bold and the quote of today is meet meet me where the sky uh, touches the, the sea i think it was appropriate <laughs> yeah and so i had the word sky and sea a bit more bold and uh, i'm gonna add also some uh, dot with um, the uh, uniposca uh, white pen those are a kind of they like at least that's what I was thinking kind of bubbles on the letters and then I'm gonna add also some uh, uh, line on the right of the letters to uh, fake uh, like there was a um, bold letter coming up you will see in a minute and then I'm gonna add also some uh, line with the uniposca pen on one side of more or less each letter to kind of pop up the letter a little bit because it was uh, dark you know black on top of a blue dark blue I mean the letter were not popping up as I wanted still not as I wanted but okay it's it's uh, I like in the end the composition I would say by the way in the meantime uh, I want to tell you that I'm sorry that I missed uh, one uh, upload last week so I already did this, this recording uh, uh, two weeks ago uh, I was missing the voiceover and the edit that I'm doing uh, uh, today uh, but uh, I don't know I was in the mood that I I kind of I was so stressed from work and tired that I didn't want really to open uh, a computer so I was more uh, ideally um, I, I wanted really to relax and doing anything not in a computer so that's why I had to wait a little bit more I'm, I'm sorry about that I'm trying to keep it up for the next uh, upload I'm not so sure about that because you know now we are starting the season of summer camp school closing so I'll see how what we can do what I can do in the meantime so uh, to add some interesting on the background I wanted to have some fake bubbles uh, coming up and down from the page and I had this uh, uh, stencil on my stage so I'm just using those bubbles those those dots as bubble uh, using the same color that I was putting on the background so I'm using basically the, the, the dark blue the light blue and the turquoise that uh, I use for the dress and uh, adding uh, bubbles here and there and sometimes since i'm always impatient uh, i forgot to clean a little bit better the stencil before <laughs> adding new color and uh, yeah i had also some mark there but i will adjust a little bit later it's still fine it still work uh, i would say that the bubbles is the part that i'm not so uh, keen with this page i mean i like all the rest i'm not so sure about the bubbles i i had in mind the bubbles but maybe it needs to be a bit bigger or different size so, but okay, I like the, the result. 
uh, that's the end so I'm not gonna bother with every piece that I did <laughs> with the stencil uh, I want to show you there that uh, after doing the stencil with the, with the dot uh, I just added a lighter or darker color on top of the uh, dot that I did with the stencil and I'm doing this one uh, with the, that tool that you see this is the one that I bought like ages ago when, when I was maybe 20 years old so kind of 20 years ago almost uh, and I was using you know to, to add some dot on the nail so doing a kind of small nail art on my by myself and now I decided to use this one to add some acrylic dot on top of the bubbles and I like this style to be honest so I had really on the side a lot of uh, um, acrylic paint just dabbing uh, with a lot of taking a really a lot of color and uh, put it on the page so there is also texture in the end on, on the page and this is the end but uh, before uh, consider this page finish I was adding some uh, highlights with uh, my Uniposca white pen as marker and uh, I was doing this one only on the side of the bubble so in this way I think the bubble were kind of popping a little bit more and I was also creating some uh, additional bubbles uh, um, here and there and that's basically it for this page I like the end result I again I'm not so sure about the bubbles part but yeah, we can uh, change, we can do another summer fairy maybe next time, but I like this one. And by the way, in the end of the video, I'm gonna uh, put, uh, as always, some close-up picture, but uh, uh, in this case, I'm gonna put the playlist with all the other video uh, season fairy, because we had uh, all of them, and I saw the, from, uh, from the view that I get uh, that you like it really a lot, and I like it really a lot as well. So I hope uh, I'll see you there. And by the way, if you recreate some of those fairy um, art journal page or project, uh, something inspired by those projects, just tag me on Instagram. It's always nice to see uh, what you are coming up with uh, uh, inspired by those pages. And again, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon for next time. Bye bye.